Hello and welcome to this is going to be episode one of my Bioshock playthrough series that I'm going to be doing up on my channel. I'm very excited to be jumping into this game with you guys and revisiting all of these great memories. Bioshock is still one of my favorite games of all time and will still hold up in the future. And for those people who haven't played Bioshock before, the basis of it is it's a first person shooter based in a city deep under the ocean. The game is known for its immersive atmosphere. It's great storyline. It's got unique gameplay mechanics, which is very interesting. And it's got lots of different unique characters throughout the game. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. So jumping right into this, even the menu, as you can probably hear, very ominous. We're going to jump in, get a bit of that going. We will go on medium difficulty. Just to be on the safe side, we want to experience everything about how great this game is. Most people, when they revisit older games, they refer to it as was. The great thing about Bioshock is that overall it's just amazing. Cutscenes, I will be removing my camera just to kind of set the atmosphere. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. As you can see, this game is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even to this day, I still think this game is an absolute masterpiece. And still, this game is my favorite game of all time. So I hope for those people who have never played this before, get the opportunity to play through it because it is a fantastic experience. I have previously actually read the book Bioshock Rapture. If you're not into reading, then I highly recommend listening to it on Audible. No gods or kings, only man. Andrew Ryan. So, this will be my first time actually playing this on mouse and keyboard. So, I think it's going to be a fun experience all around. Just the atmosphere, it's just so beautiful. Just the whole concept of this, like it just looks absolutely just amazing. 
absolutely amazing. And as you probably couldn't tell, it took me a few attempts to uh, get the intro. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Well, you can see a big daddy. The Bioshock Rapture book is phenomenal. I highly recommend reading that, either before or after playing this. Either way, knowing the background story to all of this makes it so much better. jump into it I love that cutscene absolutely just love the atmosphere the way this game kind of immerses you in is incredible I I'm I might be just rambling on right now but this is just oh absolutely a fantastic game okay all, all the volumes are uh, all the way up anyway This game always puts a smile on my face. Always. It's just so satisfying. So I'm probably going to stick with 30, well, 20 to 30 minute segments through the game. Uh, give or take a few cuts. If there's any dull footage, I'll take that out. But I want this to be as raw of an experience as I can. Just a bit more. 
with her. Salvation Rapture, November 5th, 1946. So, the mechanics of this game are absolutely fantastic. So, you have your main weapon. Which button am I pushing? There we go. So, you've got your main weapons. And. You also have things for plasmids, which are basically just abilities you can throw out of your hand. And Eve is the partner to that. So you've got Adam and then you've got Eve. Eve basically replenishes those powers. And you can't have one without the other. Gatherer's Garden. Genetic. Modification. Electro Bolt. Let's get it. You crash land, you find a weird place, and what's the first thing you do when you find a syringe? You stab yourself with it. Like, what's going through your head? <laughs> Steady now. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. sisters and big daddies. Hey, run this joint. I like how both of these uh, experiments gone wrong. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. I thought I'd do something right, different. Coyle. First time plasma a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Definitely not what you want for something that's in the ocean. So these Vita chambers, that's basically your respawn points. You activate them when you get close or in that area. Remember, the one-two punch! <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, one two punch. Doesn't cease to make me laugh. Uh, maintenance, elevator's broken. Start cracking and crumbling above our heads. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe. I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Okay. Okay. A loving memory. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city yeah, went Yeah, just uh, a fair warning for those people with emotions. This game is very dark. amazed me like it's just a glowing cabinet Sisters rolling around in it. Too spliced up. I too spliced up. Nobody's gonna want me. This happens. Lower that weapon for a minute. Do you think 
that's a child down there. Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it, everybody needs it. Ooh, we have competition. Oh, now you've done it. Now you've done it. There's no getting out of it now. Two peas in a pod. Press P to save your game. P. Save. Yep. We're going to save it. Don't want to lose any kind of... We, we don't want to lose any uh, progress. the film you've unlocked an episode of the director's commentary play it now or view it later from the main menu spoiler warning the commentary contains in-depth discussion of plot details including the ending first time players may wish to complete the game first before viewing so you'll be able to find these around the place and they will unlock in your menu and you'll be able to go back through the menu and watch them later. I don't think it's open anymore. <laughs> Tacky little nothing. Oh, headshot. Okay, are we ready? On it. Oh no. Oh Christ, you're trapped. Gonna try to override the exit from here. So tell me, friend. Which one of the bitches sent you? The KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some 
sunken ship for you to plunder. And Handle Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell, or thus for Bania, Jerry. <laughs> Bring it! I'll take you all on! Oh my god! Get out of there! Get out now! There he is! See you later. Press M to see your goal and the map. You can also get a hint if you're stuck. Okay. We're going to medical. Like every sunken, creepy, abandoned city at the bottom of the ocean. There's going to be some crazies. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. Okay. Bam. So with these hacks, you basically it's a, it's a flap, but a flap. It's a fluid pipe puzzle. Get from point A to point B. Hit finish. There you go. Our security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. Keep away from my How we plinked away with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes, we could lop a boil here and shave down a beak there, but, but could we really change anything? No, but Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Nobody else's. Right. He was invisible. Okay, is there anything else in this room that I can potentially lose? Mr. Robot, come with me. Hard as well. 
So these medical stations will be around the map. And you can either buy med kits or if you smack this top section enough times, it'll break the machine and a few will actually drop on the floor. Honestly, I think these puzzles are a lot harder on mouse and keyboard for me personally because I'm not used to playing this on mouse and keyboard. Normally I play this on console. And be mindful. to my attention that some citizens Welcome. have discovered that ways to no hack the vending machines. I should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. I think my game is broken. But hopefully in the next episode I'll get it fixed. There's some law that says we must tomorrow. Not finished. Not finished. You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery and stone. Chin up now. The Lord hates the quitter. 
I can hear that splicer sounding off like it's the 4th of July. Explosives are hard to come by down here. But if you get your hands on one of them telekinesis plasmids, you can catch the damn firebombs and toss it right back in its gob. Or anything else that might be standing in your way. I fixed it. All I needed was uh, a restart because I was fiddling around with the settings. So now there's no black shadows. A rapture reminder. The bottom of the ocean is our can a dangerous place. Okay, cool. Simon, I know Medical Pavilion is your man. Well, I might want to contradict you on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then wraps your legs. Now, I realise you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't much. give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. McDonna. Yep, he was the maintenance man. Fortunately, in the large scale of things, he never got the chance to see where things led. Okay, I can't get in there. So, eternal flame. Thoroughly enjoy shooting these things. When Picasso became bored of painting people, he started representing them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes. Security cameras. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan's eyes and ears. Okay, let's... I'll just buy it out. That works. Now, we have our own security camera. Bonus control. Ooh, we've got another one. Hacker's Delight. With Hacker's Delight, your body converts the altered current from a hacked machine into a powerful healing agent. Hack and heal. You've picked up your first physical tonic. Physical tonics make you stronger or more powerful. They are equipped separately from plasmids and other types of tonics. Okay. What else we got around here? It's yep, two taps. Machine gun, rounds, what's in here, nothing. There we go. Parasite wonders the fall. We rebuild our son in the doubt and the fire spoil our son. One thousand atoms to the man or woman who incinerate. Incineration when it absolutely possible uh, positively has to erupt in flames, don't wait to incinerate. Okay. So this will go into my second plasmid slot. Light up foes to a thousand Okay, back to it. 
the man with the The man with the Bad bitches, bad. All roads and rapture lead to Ryan. Security, the splicers, the big daddies, the little sisters. He pumps some kind of chemical scent in the air. Pheromones, they call it. Makes them all dance to his tune. Ah, Got some rounds in that now. Andrew Ryan asks you a simple question. Are you a man or a slave? So we have an center right now. We can explore a bit more now we can uh, melt the ice. So there's a door with a code there. The good thing about this is that you can just loot everything and everything. Hello, Steinman. I'm coming to get you. Security expert. Okay, a new offering in the Axmart line. Security expert was designed for the hacker specializing in disabling electronic uh, security measures. Uh, yep. Reduces difficulty when hacking turrets, bots, and cameras. Who's got crazy? 
Sort that out real quick. Clinical trial, Lotta forty four, Doctor Su Chong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Subject is a white male, one Roland Wallace. Can you hear me, Mr. Wallace? Yes, sir, Mr. Sutton. Very well. Right, I'm introducing the lot 44 now. We've called the name the lot of 44 in rage. The coach of its tendency is a... Cutting people up. It never ends well. It never ends well. French jockey. French jockey bulks up your upper body, allowing you to wield club like weapons with unprecedented skill and power. I've always had this one, but I've never actually considered how useful it could be.
I turn around and there's since a guy stood behind me. Yes, housekeeping. Okay, so I can't get into that room with our telekinesis. Okay. The key to this is that you loot everything you can find. Illustrations remind me of Fallout for some weird reason. Ransack everything you have. Bring it on. 
potentially terminal Today, I had lunch with the goddess. Steinman, she said. I'm here to free you from the tyranny of the commonplace. I'm here to show you a new kind of beauty. I asked her, what do you mean? Dealing with that either. See Steinman working his what magic. Do with this one? <laughs> it won't stay still. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. That was too fat. This one too tall. This one too symmetrical. Too symmetrical. What's this guy? An intruder. He's ugly. Secrets hanging around here somewhere. So Yeah. 
good Stay eye. Stay away from her or it is you who will be shot next. Easy now, Doctor. He's just looking for a wee bit of Adam. Just enough to get by. I'll not have him hurt Tell my him little then. ones. It's okay, lad. It's not a child. Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Doctor Tenenbaum saw to that. Bitte do not hurt her. Have you not? Boy, that's a pretty sermon coming from the ghoul who cooked up them creatures in the first place. <laughs> Took fine little girls and turned them into that, didn't you? Listen to me, boy. You won't survive. The story in this game is fantastic. Here, there is another. Use this. Free them from their torment. I will make it to be worth your while somehow. Okay. Choose whether to rescue the little sister or harvest her. If you harvest her, you get maximum atom to spend on plasmids, but she will not survive the process. If you rescue her, you get less atom, but Tenenbaum has promised to make it worth your while. So, we will rescue, because in the long run, there's more benefits to rescuing them instead of harvesting them. Yes, you don't get as much. Thank you, mister. Thank you. The path of the righteous is not always easy. Yes, the reward will become clear in time. Be patient. Pain and bound, playing you for a sap. Those things may look like wee little girls, but looks don't make it so. You need all the atom you can get to survive. Nah, I'm good. Open. Open up. If you cross paths with another of them gatherer's garden machines, make sure you pick up a new plasma or two. That's if the price ain't too dear, of course. Open says me. Rescue no, all of these no. uh, all of these little girls throughout the game, and see what kind of benefits we get from it. 
Thank you, madam. Thank you. Are you almost back to emergency access? Come through as soon as you get there. You got Ryan's eye now. You won't hear them coming. Better be there before you know it. Okay, more of them, more of them. Here we go on this one. Security alert deactivated. Here we go. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Come through to Port Neptune now. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. Absolutely. Neptune's bounty. That's where we're going to leave off episode one for now. I hope you enjoyed the atmosphere. I hope you've learn something interesting about the game and hopefully that while watching this video you've enjoyed what you saw and have the urge to try the game out for yourself and i would also like to thank everybody who took the time out of their day to watch this video it does mean a lot to me and if you did enjoy it make sure to hit that like button and so you don't miss out on any future videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is turned on and until next time good luck and take care bye bye